hi uh, let's continue to work on the routers like you know you can go to the login page and the sign up and once it got to the login page and we're going to the home page so all this stuff uh, how we're going to connect all these pages it's i think this password is one two three four five six and yeah so this is how we can do and once you log out you can go here and if you give something else we are going to show 404 pages as well so let's work on that uh, for this you need to install a uh, npm install react router dom and give save it will update your uh, package.json once you started installing it it will update the see uh, I, I just installed it so you will get this now so let's uh, create a small uh, router file for maintaining all the routes let's create a new file called routes.js so here like you need to import some uh, default uh, uh, components like go to the just it's called Re react and from react and import from So react and router DOM. So here you need to install specific components like multiple things like browser router and then router and then switch. Switch is like you know for uh, switching between two different components. So this helps the like like that. So here I'm going to export a uh, uh, routes function. So I'm going to write a small fader function in ES6. So routes and this equal to i'm specifying it as a function and we return it returns uh, all the like you know uh, we're going to export this here so export default routes so inside this we are going to use using this there is a small syntax you just follow that so I'm just closing that component and inside that I'm going to use switch. This helps to switch between two different components. And then you have to use router and the route. So there's a small uh, exact thing if you want to specify like, you know, exactly it matches that or not. And then component. So here uh, you have to call the component, proper component. if if it is in this path which component going to call so my uh, default page is welcome so from here i'm going to navigate to uh, login and the sign up so i'm just copying this i'm duplicating it the same way i created few components like a home a sign up and everything i copy pasted and renamed everything and make sure you just see the test results everything is passing or not yeah something is failing let's see uh, what is failing mm, so and this one is login so this is login again so and sign up and this is sign up we don't want this so only for the first page so and the home and the home component so try to import all the components uh, it's exactly in the components folder so it's in the welcome from so components and welcome and the welcome the same way from others as well like mm, yes um so rename this way login and login and login Yep, yeah, uh, now I created the uh, routes uh, thing. So by default, so we need to connect to this component. So I'm going to import this in the app uh, folder. So here, uh, instead of uh, uh, 
welcome we are going to call this instead of before it is welcome so i'm just renaming that and i imported the routes so by default when we load to the apps.js it comes here and it connects this one so when it comes here it will see what component to load so let's see what is happening here yeah cannot resolve uh, yeah let's see something is missing maybe i think it's a problem with these paths maybe so yeah let me make it wrong ones yeah now i'm checking it uh let's see oh so there is a small again i missed it this is not home this home yeah yeah now uh let's go to the home and this is a welcome page and this is a login and sign up so sign up and the home page and we need to create a 404 page as well so when i click this uh, we need to show some 404 page so right now it's not going to anywhere so instead of that uh, here i'm just specifying if not phone i'm just giving a star and i'm giving like you know not phone page so uh, create the same way mm, just copy this yes i'm just renaming it to not font so use the same thing and rename everything yep created a not found uh, component as well i'm just replacing the names and here uh, for the not found uh, i'm going to import the not found thing so not found component so yep and uh, i'm here like in the not found i'm just giving a 404 page so let's back to the project yeah it comes here whatever you give here something else it go to the four not fair page go to the login and it comes to the login page and if you're not doing anything and if not giving anything it's come to the welcome page let's come to the welcome page and i will create some um, like you know buttons or something uh, just come to the welcome page uh, let's minimize this and show you directly yep uh, so here something write your uh, project description so and then i'm just creating a small two buttons like button like uh, or like you know hyperlinks as well i'm just giving login and the class button primary and the login see i got something like you know we got some button here so the same way i'm just creating like one more thing called uh, sign up and this is uh, sign up and this gives some success or I'm not giving anything because this looks little okay I created the sign up as well now let's see yeah I have two buttons came like one is login and it goes to login page and if I click on uh, sign up it comes to the sign up maybe I gave the spell mistake so that's why it's coming to the yeah when you click on sign up it goes to the sign up page and so yeah this is what uh, you can uh, maintain the routes yeah uh, this way you can create n number of uh, components here and uh, import all the uh, components here and map it to the router like which path exactly you want so that way you can maintain entire the project uh, so yeah that's it uh, thank you and uh, maybe next post i'll explain how to create a login and sign up page and goes to the home page and so maintaining the session and all thank you